Hello. Maybe. There we go. I guess it has been two weeks. It could take a while for it to wake up here. <laughs> I don't know you. Okay, I don't know who you are. <laughs> Okay. Well, chat is quiet today, but that makes sense because it's been two weeks and I'm 20 minutes late. Hello. Welcome. As usual, if you want me to say your name, say something in chat. Anything, anything at all. Just say it. We'll go over our regular, regularly scheduled programming, starting with what we're doing today. You should, should have seen by the thumbnail that we are doing a Suicune GBC, the clear shell variety, and uh, we're going to go with the purple buttons and a white screen lens here. And for the other one, we're going with an all blue look. And uh, they all, all the blues match like really well. They're all very close to each other, so I'm excited about this one. I think it's going to look cool. Originally, I was thinking uh, going blue and yellow. Probably because I was watching... Uh, or I was... Yeah, I was watching the Chargers game yesterday. But... Uh, the, the yellows didn't match too well, so I just went with the blue. And uh, I had my parents choose these for the most part anyways. So, yeah. Uh, that's what we've got right now, or what we're going to do. We have a lot of Game Boys. I have a lot of Game Boys for sale. Uh, I don't really want to get them all out because there's a lot. But uh, go check the website for all the other stuff. There's my hat. And uh, there is one other Game Boy Color available right now if you want a nice pink and white one. That is uh, there. Oh. Bad sound and no sound. So we get to choose some... Uh, I'm going to swap these out. Yeah, I'm going to swap these out for another day. Because <laughs> I think I left these so I could change the uh, the speaker color. Because I have a bunch of different colors for speakers. Ooh. And neither of these you'll really be able to tell the color from the print. And the fact that this is a clear blue. So I'm going to swap to different Game Boys. The ones that are good and that's why we label our Game Boys okay. these purple buttons didn't come in a little baggie there I bought multiple sets of the purple and uh, they are just all piled in one bag so they're loose today that's all right Let's uh, end the poll here. Just a sneaky way for me to advertise. It's not very sneaky though. But I have been playing video games for the members. If you're interested in watching me play video games, which is probably the most requested thing I've had for the channel. But uh, I, I can tell people don't want to pay for it. <laughs> but I don't like playing games for this many people. So I'm not very good at it. But... I don't know, things might change. But today we've got Daniel, DC, Downright Spiffy, Alexander, Eli, and my mom and dad. Hello. How are you guys doing? Let's just get started because I've got a very busy day ahead of me. got a lot to record a lot to record I also have a lot to edit too because I would like to uh, I'd like to get a video out this Friday but I think it's just another one of those videos where I think it's going to be a lot more work than initially thought I'm working on uh, a shell guide because shells are very confusing, and lenses for that matter. 
which I did talk about in the original cut of it, but I also want to uh, add in a little section about buttons because not all the buttons are created equal. I've talked about uh, the membranes being funky, but Scott, let me get to my preview here. There we go. How you doing, Scott? Skin pixel, Nick. But going back to the poll, if you're interested in me playing video games, uh, I played the entirety of Pikmin 1. I played the entire, like, one and a half times of Portal, <laughs> the first one. Because uh, I played it until uh, I downloaded, or the RTX version finished downloading, and then I beat it in RTX entirely. Which tried to make my computer explode. Game Boy equals good, I agree. I guess I don't need to put that away. I got a, a comment on a on my Dreamcast video yesterday that I thought was pretty funny. Which, by the way, if you ever say anything publicly on this channel, uh, you are subject to me talking about it on this channel. <laughs> Especially now after the uh, the hot takes video, which there will be a second one, even though the video didn't do amazing numbers wise. I had a ton of fun with it, so I'm gonna keep milking it. Uh, it just won't be like a super regular thing. Anyways, someone commented on my Ultimate Dreamcast video complaining, saying that the Dreamcast was not a flop and that it just, <laughs> that it just didn't sell well enough <laughs> and that Sega dropped it too soon. I think... That's just the definition of a flop. I think he's just... I'm assuming he was a guy. I, I think this person was just upset that I called it a flop. And thinks that that means it's just a bad console. Which, there's argument there. But I would argue that it was definitely a flop. And, uh... It's just not that good of a console. What? There are good games on it, but I don't think it was a good console. I don't like the controller. But I just thought it was funny that they said it's not a flop and then described what a flop is. Being the Dreamcast. but I am no Dreamcast hater. I'm just gonna unload all the, the little plastic baggies here. Also, uh, I think I've mentioned this before, but I've started trimming all of these uh, pins. That's what they're called. I've started trimming all the pins before while I'm fixing all the Game Boys when I get them in. 
because I fix them first and then have them ready to go for streams, if you didn't know. Because I buy all of them as broken lots. I probably should have just gotten the taping out of the way too, but it doesn't really matter that much. Oh, and I lost B. Find that in a second. I should keep taking these apart too. Get them out of the way. So we've got one for vias. I'm assuming there's two for vias then. We're just going to do everything via the vias. Fun. I'll leave the stickers in there. For now. Yep, okay. Cool, it's via day. Alright. Should we just knock the soldering out real quick? I think so. I need another one of these. But for the vias, my neat little trick now, because I don't really like, I don't enjoy the feeling of scraping the vias with a craft knife. So I've noticed that with the uh, steel wool pen, I can just rough it up a little bit. And that usually does the trick. I guess I didn't do that one on camera. Oh well. Did someone get the nerd on the line to tell her? Yeah. I have a giant heart on my uh, on my chat now, so. Every word at the end of the line is just blocked by this heart because they want me to use emojis in my own chat. I, if I press the button, I don't think it would do anything. Yeah, this action cannot be performed. <laughs> like this, I can't. How do I keep my silicone? Okay. How do I keep the mat clean? Uh, I wash it. Like I'll just take it in the sink and just put a bunch of dish soap, dish soap on it and then get the scrubber out. Have this little like, it's for dishes but it's old so we got a new one and I just used the old one to clean this up because it gets very gross. <laughs> uh, but that's how I keep it clean. And the, I have not used, this is the first time using it since I've cleaned it so it looks very nice. But before I cleaned it, it was the most disgusting I think it's ever been. Because when you clean old gross Game Boys that were used by snotty kids, uh, <laughs> it gets disgusting real quick. Very quick. Okay, let's do this. Put these up a little bit higher. Also, I got a different uh, solder this time. It's the same brand and everything, but I usually get mine from Home Depot just because it's easier and I don't have to wait for shipping. 
Uh, but they were out of the smaller one that I like because it's like I like the tube because it's easier to hold and I don't really have a setup where I can like use the rolls easily so I just had to hold it but this is like double the thickness so I always I've been like using way too much solder I'm not used to it like now I have a giant bubble of solder on my tip And now I need the flux because I have way too much solder. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Probably put flux down here too. No offense to snotty kids. Well, if there's any snotty kids watching, then I'm, no, I don't apologize. Don't be snotty. <laughs> Wipe your nose. Sneeze into your elbow. Not into your Game Boy. Okay. To really hold this closer. It doesn't seem very... There we go. Okay. Uh, probably good to ask my audience this one. Have you guys seen Mako's video on uh, the FPGA Game Boy Color? From Funny Playing. It's not out yet, but shocker, he got it early to test. Uh, and I didn't. Testing is more understandable, but I doubt I'll also get it for <laughs> review unless I pay for it. But, they're working on a new uh, Game Boy Color, like entire new Game Boy Color motherboard that is powered by FPGA. I'm focusing, so that's why I'm not talking. There we go. Ah. Uh, but, yeah, I'll, I'll save the soldering for the rest of the soldering for later. Is there a way to clean a volume wheel on a Game Boy Color besides IPA? I mean, people have said contact cleaner works instead of IPA, but I cannot... I cannot confirm that because I've never used it, and IPA is great, and it's really cheap.
But funny playing is making a Game Boy Color clone. And uh, from what I saw in the video, I'm not impressed. But to be fair, I'm biased because I sell modded Game Boys. But I think even though it's just supposed to look almost exactly like a Game Boy Color, it still doesn't entirely. And I just think it looks bad. It looks weird, like their uh, like their handheld emulator that looked like a weird Game Boy Pocket. I just I don't know. And I have a feeling it's going to be half baked at launch, like everything else that they put out. I also think it's odd that they make, they're trying to make products that compete against their own existing products. That just doesn't make any sense to me. But yes, hardware emulation is still emulation. There are still a ton of like games that aren't fully compatible already. Like he was saying in the video that Pokemon Yellow has problems. And it's like, man, if you're gonna release it with Pokemon Yellow problems, then that is a problem. It's like one of the most popular games on the Game Boy Color. But, anyways, it only does Game Boy and Game Boy Color. And doesn't do all of them, apparently. So, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I actually want to buy it at launch. But, for the reviewer and me, I probably should. I'd rather them just send it to me, but I just don't see that happening in any world, so. You know what? It doesn't matter if we kill these now. Okay. Yeah, but like, I, I think if they make a, a Game Boy Color clone, then all of these things that they make, like, what's what? why would anybody buy this if the other one's better? I don't know. I don't know. I just think it's a little, a little silly. Whoa. But I don't make products like that, so. Not my business. I guess my preference is that they just <laughs> fix the issues with their current products before they make another one that will ultimately have issues of itself. I guess so. They do still get paid. Personally, I would just be too confused on selling two widely different products, but I guess that's uh, 
It's a little different. A little business lesson from Steve Jobs. I do like the the man, the myth, the legend. Rest in peace. <laughs> At the same time, I don't know if Apple's a company you want to copy. <laughs> like, it's app, today's Apple. Yesterday's Apple, yeah. But Apple do, do, uh, still does make me a lot of money. <laughs> I am a proud Apple shareholder. All right. Frank Miller, welcome. Man, I really dislike this connector. Oh yeah. Last bit of, yeah, not really the last bit. Capped on tape. We still got more cap. That's my, uh, that's my gripe with this one. And it's not really. I guess it's more for my sanity that I put the capped on tape down. I really wish I didn't have to. Or I didn't feel like I have to. If they don't add USB-C to the iPhone tomorrow, I'm going to lose it. Mick lose it. You're going to Mick lose it. I use wireless charging, <laughs> so it doesn't really bother me. I think the only real reason I would care about USB-C is because it would be nice to, like, for travel. If I only ha need one cord, but at the same time... Like, I bring so many things when I travel, I would need multiple USB-C cords anyways, so. Eh. I don't think the lightning port is good, but I'm not, like, dying to have USB-C on my phone. If I was, I'd probably just get an Android. flip this around then we can put the buttons in the correct way. I feel like it is, but it's not going in. It's 
so I'm nervous. Okay, maybe I just need to use the black one. Yeah, okay. Sometimes these IR covers, when they're like the color ones, are not great. Plus, you lose compatibility if you use that one. So, if you ever want to use one of the three IR games, don't go with the, the color ones. Goodness gracious. This B button just doesn't want to stay. It doesn't want to go. Okay. I feel like I should put a little bit more capped on tape down. I need to cut this in half. Like it'd be, I'd love it much more if they would just figure out touch pads before they went <laughs> making other products. As a company, or as a person who gives them a lot of money. I guess I don't directly give them a lot of money, but you know what I mean. Anyways, let's. Yeah, one more piece of cap out here. Getting a lot of notifications this stream. Phone was super dry this morning, and then I hit start stream, and everybody's bugging me. Almost cut the wire. That would have been dumb. Can this piece just cut? Oh well, whatever. Let's just close it up. Hello, we. I love that Markiplier just uploaded a Pokemon Smasher pass, so this got recommended to me. <laughs> if Markiplier's recommending, I mean, like, I you know he's not recommending, but if his channel is recommending my videos, that is huge. <laughs> That would be amazing. I finally got to catch a live stream of fixing to do my own GBA. Why is it focusing on my one nail, my one finger up here, and not the rest of the stuff going on? We need to add some logic to the the autofocus. Anyways. Finally got to catch a live stream of fixing to do my own GBA and I've been watching a lot of your videos so I don't screw up. Well, I hope you don't. You've got this. If, you, if you're watching my stuff, there's no way you could mess up. No way. I mean, you could, but no, no. I am too good of a teacher to let my students fail. But I also failed the first couple times I tried to mod. Not a Game Boy Advance. I just accidentally scraped the soft touch shell the first 
one of the first times. Okay, that better be good enough. Move on to this one. Oh yeah, that looks so good. I, oh, I love that, okay. Keep her going. Hey, when <laughs> voice crack? Hey, when did you pass 60k subs? That's pretty like worthy. That is pretty like worthy. You should hit that like button if you haven't already. We've got uh, let's see, 20 likes and 28 people in here. Doesn't seem quite right. 30 people in here. Maybe Markiplier is sending me people. That is a stiff screw. Ever thought of creating a pastel line of Game Boy? Well, I mean, I don't really make the... I don't make the shells. If I made the shells, that'd be awesome. But I'd also change a lot of things. Not a lot. But a little. Do that. These screw posts are toit. Hopefully that's all good, but we've got one more bit to solder before we wrap it up. But uh, I do kind of ugh, do kind of have a pastel-ish color. Like this purple is pastel-y. Some of them are pastel. It's pastel-like, pastel-adjacent. I did make the the black ice shell that sold pretty fast, um, but I didn't make the shell. I made the design, and a local shop printed it on a shell for me that the shell was made by Funny Playing, and it was really expensive, and I made very little money on it, but... That's why they haven't come back. I would like to bring, bring them back eventually, but it's just, like I made a couple dollars, I think, in total. It was not much. I think the FPGA Game Boy Color, I mean, like, I don't want to judge something before I get my hands on it, but I don't think it's going to be very good, just based off of Funny Playing's track record. <laughs> I 
I was gonna make a stupid joke. Like, their 100 meter time is terrible. From Mako's video, the the game compatibility just doesn't seem like it's there. And I got the idea that, I got the feeling that they're probably going to release it early based off of what he said and their track record. And it's going to be released in a unfinished state and still be full price. <laughs> like every other product they put out anyways yeah something something today's video so oh, we don't, we don't want to do any fake sponsors but i have definitely sent a few emails back and forth with uh, a company <laughs> i've gotten very close to many sponsorships it's just my idea of a sponsorship is different from a lot of other people's ideas of sponsorships. Because I'm not like, I don't know. Not to get too into it, but... Negotiations are tough when the uh, smaller companies come around thinking that because I'm a smaller channel, I'll just do anything for, like, dirt cheap. And it's just not the case. Oh, and like... I want to talk about this. I I cut it from the video, but the guy who sent me the uh, X55 for review, man, I really did not enjoy conversating with them. <laughs> he was extremely rude. Tried to gaslight me into thinking that I didn't post a video. Maybe trying to gaslight is a little bit extreme, but... He messaged me the day of or the day after I posted my Miu Mini video. And he's like, I would love, I love your channel, like they all say. I want, I would love for you to review the Miu Mini Plus. And I'm like, sorry, already posted a video on that. Being my latest video, <laughs> the first thing you see when you go to my channel. And, uh, and then he's like, uh, just so you know, you haven't. I would like to send you one. And I'm like, what do you mean? Just so I know, I have not made a video on the Miu Mini Plus. I think I would know if I've posted a video on that. So I just ignored him because he also sent me a list of requirements like demands that I have to do, including putting his logo as a watermark on my video the entire time, uh, making an affiliate uh, account and all that stuff, great. That's pretty normal. Uh, there were just a few like ridiculous things that I was never going to agree to, so I just ignored him. And then eventually, he also said that they were out of stock of X55, even though the website was still uh, selling them. But he eventually said, oh, we got more stock. I'll send it your way. And I still ignored him. And then it showed up in my P.O. box. I did not agree to anything. I just said I would review it. Because I originally said I would like to review it. And that is it. And then he was upset that I didn't do all of these things that uh, I was required to do. I don't care, because I'm not required to do any of it. Yeah, and it, he didn't even pay me. But, like, he just sent me a product for review. Like, you can't demand that I do something and, like, I don't know. I, would, I just wanted to review the X55, and then he offered it, and I was like, okay. Because the initial email was him saying, I'd love for you to do the Miu Mini, and I also have these other products that I'd like you to review too. And I'm like, well, I've already done the Miu Mini video, but the X55 sounds awesome. You can send it here. And that's when all the ignoring happened, because 
he tried to convince me that I didn't post a video about the Miu Mini Plus. <laughs> so, and then immediately, uh, like I think it was last night, a couple days after I post the X55 video, another company wants me uh, wants to send me the RGB30. I think that's the other Pow Kitty one. I'm gonna test these before I put the stickers on. But I don't think I want to review that one just because it's the same price as the X55, but doesn't look as good. I, I think it's the same power. I don't know. It might be less power. It's probably less power. Okay. Let's see. Power switch is a little stiff. It's very stiff. I found this on the web. What did I search? What do you think I searched? See Paris switch the little stiff. That's what you think I said. Okay. Is that really? Yeah, yeah, okay. I guess that is full brightness. I'm not used to seeing it under the high powered lamps. There we go. Wait a second. Is it not going to let me change the the light bar color? Oh, okay, there we go. That was weird. I'm going to go for purple. The like light purple. But I got to see it off screen cuz the light the bright lights. There we go. All right, so start and select, select, start and select work very well. A and B are a little stiff, but they work. Cool. That is good, and we know the touchpad works. It is a very stiff power switch, though. Just a little twist back. little quarter turn and that's a lot better immediately cool perfect that one's good and hopefully this one is just as amazing through all those stupid grid lines. Really wish there was an easier way to undo the grid lines. Cool. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom, shaka waka. Hold start and select. Are these, uh, these batteries dying that was weird maybe I just pushed the the batteries a little bit I guess we got to make it a matching blue gotta make it blend in as much as possible there we go you can hardly see it, that's good. I mean like, when there's not lights shining on it, you can see it, but it blends in when there's light on it. I like it. 
beautiful. Yeah, I'm glad I went with this. Thanks, Mom and Dad. If you missed the beginning of the stream, my parents picked out the colors. Sometimes I just get indecisive on what to pick because I have so many options. And so I just throw it to them. Okay. Put these stickers on. And then we can list these and get on with the day. We got things to do, people to see. Still my favorite sticker, and it's still the Nintendo hotline, it's just not for repairs, but you can still call that phone number, and it will get you to Nintendo. They'd probably rather you talk about your Switch instead of your Game Boy. wants to know where Nugget is. She's laying on the couch behind me, pretty sure. Either that or on the floor. She's in the other room. <laughs> That's weird. Normally she chills in here. Unless she's around the corner. Oh, yeah. She's in front of the the closet over over yonder. I can see her leg. Okay. Add that to the pile of garbage on the floor. All right. Also, did you see my Pokemon fun fact earlier? I did not. I was recommended this video after watching some SNES repair. Nice. Uh. Fun fact, the Pokemon slogan in the West was originally going to be catch them if you can. Interesting. And then the movie came out. Catch me if you can. Anyways. Your videos are great. You were the only one who properly explained how to get the hinges out of the SP safely. Thank you. I got a, uh, I got a comment the other day that said I was so wrong and that I was going to destroy everyone's hinges. And I... Uh, it made me so upset because I, I feel like I'm the only person who has, like, explained it in a good way how to fix it or how to remove them. But, shoot, I did the wrong thing. Dang it, now I have to go through all the freaking grid line options. I hate grid lines so much. Okay, start and select. Tap the boy. Oops. Okay. I just wanted to center this a little bit better. Okay. Cool. Phone. If you're wanting this Game Boy here, I am going to list it right now on the website, RetroRemaster.com. There's a link in the description. I don't know if I've ever done... This. I don't, I don't think I've done this color before. Eventually, I'll find it. Okay. Hmm. 
Maybe. Nope. Okay. We will duplicate this listing. I didn't want to duplicate the images. Ah, okay. It's loading. Maybe. I guess it's a good time to take a drink. Look at chat. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah, they do injection molding services, PCB way does, but I don't have the design for a, a mold for a Game Boy Color or any shell. So. Okay. I was in a rush to do the Game Boy Advance SP IPS mod and did it perfectly, but there's somewhere, are oh, there some dead pixels on the screen? Man, that sucks. And then once you install it, no one's gonna want to, uh, no one's gonna wanna, like, give you money back for it. So, that is rough. Okay. Add one to inventory and take a picture. Done. And active. I guess I could do a picture of the back, but it's got the stickers on it. <laughs> okay. Turn that off. I can add a picture of the back real quick. I mean, if it's sold instantly, it doesn't really matter. But. Okay. There's that. And Suicune time. I know I've got a Suicune one. I have a Suicune listing somewhere where I can just steal it. But I used white buttons last time. Only difference. So I can't reuse the pictures thing. I can reuse the... Uh, the back pictures. <laughs> I'll reuse the back pictures. Oops. It'll look a little silly for a second, but that's all right. We'll get the full pictures up later. That's not perfectly centered either. That's much better. Okay. Camera. Add one to inventory. And make it active. Wait, it didn't change the, okay, it did. Cool. All right, they are now both officially up and available. If you want them, go get them, retroremastered.com, boom. Yo, Jake, just stopping by to say thank you for your SP mod guy guy that did the trick this last weekend for me. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it, and I'm glad it helped you. I appreciate your thanks.
We should probably change Siri's activation word to something unusual like LGR did for Alexa. I don't know if of the 29 people I alerted anybody's Alexa device, but we don't have any in the house anymore. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I I think it makes for uh, for a bit of comedy having Siri go off. It used to be if I said, "Are you serious?" she would go off, but it doesn't happen anymore. It was always when I was like, "Ugh," I did like a video game, and then I was like. I'm not talking to you. My friends used to laugh very hard at that. But thank you, Preston, for buying this one off the rip. It is a very, very pretty color. I like this a lot more than I thought I would. And it's now yours. I will uh, send it out soonly, soonish. Oh, also, quick little thing. Not, like, upset or anything. I know my tone might make it sound like that. But just so you guys know, I feel like this was pretty obvious. Uh, but I, d I don't control the post office. <laughs> when you buy something, you get to choose how fast of shipping and who you want it through. And I only charge, like, a dollar above what I pay for the labels because you know cardboard and stuff still costs money but uh i i can't choose when it's delivered to you i i don't personally put it in your mailbox or your p.o box or at the front desk of your apartment building i two of the last three orders i've uh been asked to deliver it on a specific day or not deliver it on a specific day and I don't have any control over that if you want it to be a certain day and if you're like I want it to be delivered on a Wednesday then get like FedEx next day and I will ship it I'll drop it off on a Tuesday morning something like that like that's the only way I can actually choose that but that's like a $50 thing that's an old notification and the Thing that was supposed to fix the old notifications didn't work dang it that's all right but still thank you austin say so, just so you know i don't control that there's someone who wants me to it to be delivered on a wednesday or a thursday i can't control that but i'm gonna drop it off on a thursday and hope it gets there the next tuesday or wednesday that's it so you don't see the suicune on the site Let me check that real quick. Thank you for checking. Because I'm sure there's probably someone wanting to buy that. That should be there. In the Game Boy Color section. According to this. Let's see. Shop now. Game Boy Color. You're correct. That was very odd. Um... Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to go a little crazy here. I'm going to hop over to the SP section and see if it populates in the SP section. It doesn't. What the heck? We're going to put it back in the Game Boy Color section. I want to figure this out before stream ends, but... Okay. There must be something wrong with Shopify right now. Because it's kind of glitching out. I'm going to also just duplicate product. See if that does it.
No. Okay. Well, I will figure that out later, I guess. Because I don't know what to do about that. So, yeah. I guess I will just see you guys on... I think I'm going to stream for the members this week. I want to play a little Metroid Dread. So I'll probably stream that sometime this week. Maybe a Wednesday, maybe Thursday. We'll see. But I got a lot to do this week, so maybe not. Uh, so I'll probably, hopefully, maybe see you on Friday for a full video if I can get that done. So I will see you guys in the next one, whatever that may be. Later, guys. That was, that was an okay snap. Snap was not great. A little odd ending.